What's happening guys? Myself, Pippa Monique and Charlene Smith are back with another match preview. And this is arguably the biggest game of our season. Arguably, I think it is to be fair. It definitely is the biggest game. Because what else is there to play for? I mean, exactly. if we talk about how bad the season's gone, we've had three different managers, one interim Freddie Lundberg, Arteta's taken over and kind of rejuvenated the team. And how we got to an FA Cup final, I do not know. <laughs> that is unbelievable. I still can't, the day that we were sat here at Box, we're in Box Park now, Box Park Wembley, watching the live stream along with the AFTV lot and we couldn't believe it. There I was know. tears of joy, Troops was crying, exactly. people were was crying. <laughs> but we made it to a final. How are you feeling? I'm feeling really excited about making it to the final because if we win this cup, I mean, we'll qualify for European football and we'll be playing against Liverpool in the Community Shield. That's not nothing to look forward to, by the way. <laughs> I mean, hopefully, like, if we do win and we play Liverpool in the, con uh, in the Community Shield, hopefully they're still on holiday mode. Yeah, exactly. And they're not back into the No one, in even though we beat them uh, in the last couple of games of the season a few weeks back, it's not a team that you look forward to coming up against no, these days at not. all. But let's focus on the FA Cup final. I think I'm the only Arsenal fan that's nervous because I've spoken to a few Arsenal fans, I've spoken to you, I've spoken to all the AF guys from AFTV. Everyone seems confident. And I think they're going on the fact that they feel like Chelsea's defence is not strong enough against our firepower up front. Mm. But then again, we don't have the strongest defence either. It's true. And not only that, Chelsea are having problems with their goalkeeper as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kepa, we ain't got no problems there. We ain't got no problems in that department. We've got two solid keepers. Exactly. So he was dropped for their last couple of games. They got Caballero in. Yeah. So who are you hoping for them to play? Because Kepa... Obviously Kepa, but I think yeah. if they're wise, they will choose Kepa, Willie Caballero to play in goal. Mm, and their defence is a bit shaky. I'm just hoping we can really step up on mm. the day and just... But they're a team that will probably hold possession. Yeah, but I don't mind that. I feel like a game like this in a cup final where anything goes, the way we played against City, we let them hold on to the possession. The stats were something crazy. Like we had like 11% or even lower mm. throughout that whole game. And we won that game. We let them hold on to the ball. Then we, you know, just attacked on the counter. Mm. And if we could do that against Chelsea, um, we have to, I think it's going to be a battle of the midfield. Yeah, Jack has be. to be on his A game. Sabayas has to be on his spinning top A game. No. We're running rings around them, man. <laughs> um, hopefully, Kante slips up again. If he, play, if he plays, I don't think Kante will play, but if he does, it will be interesting to see how we match up midfield. I'm sure we'll play the same 3 4 3 formation. We'll both match up there. That's what I was hoping for as well. But I, it's a battle between Arsenal and Chelsea, but it's also a battle between Arteta like, and Lampard. Mm. Who wants it more? Arteta. But che Chelsea, Lampard will want it. Yeah, of course. But Arteta as well. I think he deserves a bit of silver as well. I mean, um, Lampard's got a um, fourth place finish. Yeah. Champions League. It'd be nice for Arteta to have a little something as well, his first season also. But this but is what happened last time. I hate bringing this up, but Baku, Chelsea had already qualified for Champions League. We were fighting. We needed that win for so many reasons. And we just got pulverised and we didn't even come close to winning that game. And we're now in a similar situation where we need to win that game to get into European football. And mm. I said a few weeks ago, before, like during the restart of the Premier League, that I thought, do you know what? Maybe it's a good idea if we don't have European football because then next year we can really focus on the Premier League. But now we're in this final. It's like, <laughs> we have to win it. It's a London derby. We can't lose against Chelsea exactly. at our FA Cup final. Exactly. How do you think the game's going to go? It's going to be a tight game and it's going to be a tough battle as well. Yeah. I reckon our players are going to be worn out. They're going to be tired, but they're going to have to step up and play to their full potential. Yeah. No time for any slip-ups. I mean, we, we see what um, Pulisic's been doing as well. Yeah. So he's a player to be looking out for. Mason Mount. It's going to be a tough battle. Olivia Giroud. <laughs> he's been scoring. And I know, I know he's going to enjoy it if he gets a chance to score against us because when they won that Europa League final in Baku, there was a, I don't know if you saw, there was a video that went viral after the game where he was laughing at Arsenal, the fact that he beat us in a final. We made him. I sorry exactly. to say, but we made his career, you know. And for him to go and do that, I feel so violated. So I feel like we need to win for that reason. Just, just for that little uh, reason yeah, there. And I feel like David Luiz needs to be on his A game because he's come against heavy criticism this season. Even from me. I mean, what he did against Man City, the 4-0 the defeat was unforgivable. But then he redeemed himself in the, in the semi-final. And he needs to prove to Lampard, because Lampard's the one that got rid of him. Well, Chelsea got rid of him and said, you're not good enough. Mm. We'll keep Rudiger. We'll keep uh, Zuma and all their man there. If David Luiz doesn't, he has to win this cup for his club, yeah? And he has to win it to show Lampard what he wants to get rid of me. He this needs to show, what he I'm needs, really he about. He needs to show that performance <laughs> that he had in the semi-final and he needs to come strong. It's a shame that Mustafi misses out on yeah, another exactly. final. Exactly. It's happened to him again. I don't know what kind of curse this is, but it's unfortunate for him. But more importantly, I've been seeing that Leno's back in full training. Are you thinking that Leno might play in the cup final? He is the number one keeper. He and I is. feel like if he is fit, then 
it's not about who gets chosen. He's the number one keeper who'll get thrown back in there. Do you think that'll be the right decision? I don't think it will be because Martinez has been playing. He has been delivering. Mm. Let's just keep that going. Yeah, Let's just true. keep Martinez. Would you replace him with I would not, not at this point. No. I mean, he's, exactly. he's been consistent. He's on form. It would throw things off a bit. And, I, and Leno, it would be such a crazy decision. I know he's our number one, but he's mm. just come back from an injury. Exactly. Uh, he's not going to feel... I don't know, come back from the injury, you're not your best, are you? You're exactly. going to be a bit, you, need to you, you want to land properly. You want, yeah, exactly. I think it'll be a crazy decision. Yeah, we'll see what be. Arteta does. I'm, I'm even intrigued what starting 11 he'll go for. Uh, if he'll play Maitland-Niles on the left wing back or, or right wing back, where he'll play mm. these players. If Saka will even play. I'm hoping Saka will play. If a Bamiyan is through the middle <laughs> or the left, he'll probably be on the left. It'll be interesting to see what happens. And I just hope that we get this win so that Arteta and Arsenal can feel some type of pride this season because where we finished in the league is exactly. actually it's embarrassing. Not, it's actually it's embarrassing. not acceptable. So to finish with the FA Cup will be good. What is your starting 11 pips? Oh, should we go through this? Yeah. All right. I'm choosing Martinez in goal. Um, my three defenders, if we're playing 3 3, three, four, three would be uh, Tierney, David Luiz and Rob Holding. Now, Rob Holding had to step in in our last FA Cup final against Chelsea because uh, we had injuries and him and Mertesacker like, had to just step in last minute and they did bits. They had Oscar in the back pocket and he was just, Rob Holding, you've seen the picture where he's like, he was in his face, he was on it. So hopefully we get that Rob Holding performance. Um, I would probably uh, play Maitland-Niles left wing back like he did against Man City because he pocketed Mahrez. Mm. Uh, alongside him, I would have Xhaka, Ceballos, um, who would I put there on the right? Bellerin, I guess. Put Bellerin on the right. You've got um, Cedric as another option. I don't know. Not for the fine. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure about that one. Um, and then, obviously, on the left, I'll have a Bamiyan. Through the middle, I'll, I'll pick Lacazette over Eddie. I'll put Lacazette there. And then on the right, Pepe. That's my starting 11. Simple. Sorted. Well, you've actually got a similar starting 11 to me. Yeah, what else would <laughs> you choose? Exactly. There's only one person I would swap. Yeah. Um, Ainsley with Saka. you put Saka left Yeah, I'll back. put Saka He's there. good on the left. He's got pace. He crosses balls in. I don't see any of those options would be good. Mm. It depends what type of Chelsea performance we get, who Arteta will put there in that position. But what's your score prediction? What are you going for? My score prediction is 1-0 to yeah, Arsenal. Yeah. I was thinking the same, you know, but I said that all throughout the week. I said it all today. I think it will be a nervy, nervy game and it will go down to the wire. It's not going to... Everyone's been saying it's 3-2. I don't think there'll be that many goals in this game. I don't game. think there will be either. But on the flip side, if there is that many goals, I would go 3-1 Arsenal. And I know that sounds crazy because I'm not <laughs> even confident that we'll win. But if the right Arsenal team show up and they show up wanting to win this cup and we start off well, if we score first and our heads are in the game from the jump, I believe we can get a 3-1 win. Mm. Or 2 0. I'm giving you so many predictions. All right, I'm going to go 2 0. <laughs> go two with nil. one. I'm going to go 2 0. I'm going to go 2 0. 2 0. A Bamiang to score both. Okay. Who's scoring for you? That one in, goal. I was, a Bamiang or Lacazette? Like yeah. Money's that. more on a Bamiang, though. Ooh. We'll see what happens. It's a big game on, on Saturday. Make Massive sure game. you tune in to our match. Well, we're going to be on AFTV, actually. Yeah, so we'll sure be there. So stream. watch it along with us. Watch <laughs> us along on the AFTV live stream. Um, we're going to be here at Box Park, Wembley, watching the game. Those are our predictions. Let us know yours in the comments down below. We need this win more than anything. FA Cup normally means so much to us, but this time it means, it means that much more. more. <laughs> so um, let us know your predictions. And thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe.